Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about Philadelphia chromosome. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. Philadelphia chromosome was discovered in 1959 by David Hungerford and Peter Noel. Philadelphia chromosome or the Philadelphia translocation is a genetic abnormality in chromosome 22 of chronic myeloid leukemia cells. The genetic abnormality is due to the reciprocal translocation of the genetic material between chromosome 9 and 22. So what is Philadelphia chromosome? The Philadelphia chromosome is formed by the reciprocal translocation of the genetic material between chromosome 9 and 22. Here you can see uh, the normal chromosome 9 and the normal chromosome 22. At the location 9q31.4, we have the uh, proto-oncogene ABL and in the normal chromosome 22, we have the uh, BCR gene. When they translocate, they form a fusion gene product called as the BCR ABL and which in turn produces BCR ABL protein. The fused uh, BCR ABL gene containing chromosome is called as the Philadelphia chromosome. This is formed uh, by the translocation of genetic material between chromosome 9 and chromosome 22. So what is uh, BCR ABL translocation? The reciprocal translocation of uh, BCR and ABL result in fusion gene BCR ABL which results in the chronic myeloid leukemia. CML or the chronic myeloid leukemia is a my myeloproliferative disorder with the increased granulocytic cell proliferation. The chromosome with the fused BCR ABL gene is called as the Philadelphia chromosome. The BCR, G, uh, BCR ABL gene deregulates the tyrosine kinase activity of uh, ABL gene, turning on the activity of tyrosine kinase. Tyrosine kinase activity will be permanently turned on in the BCR ABL gene fusion. Due to the translocation, uh, there are different uh, variants can be formed due to this uh, translocation. So these include MBCR, that is the minor BCR, major BCR and the micro BCR. The major BCR is the fusion product of uh, BCR B2 and uh, A2 of the ABL. B2 is currently known as the exon 13 and the former name is B2 and it can be formed uh, from the E13A2 or the B2A2 or E14A2 or the P3A2 which results in a fusion product uh, of uh, 210 kilo Dalton. The other forms include uh, minor BCR which is formed uh, due to the fusion of uh, exon 1 of BCR and uh, A2 of the ABL. This is typical uh, form of uh, acute lymphoid leukemia. The P230 kilo Dalton protein fusion uh, is formed due to the fusion of uh, exon 19 and A2 of the ABL gene. So the minor BCR produces a uh, 190 kilo Dalton protein which is uh, seen in the acute uh, lymphoid leukemia and the major BCR is seen in the Philadelphia chromosome having the chronic myeloid leukemia. The micro BCR is the mild form of uh, Philadelphia chromosome with uh, chronic neutrophilic leukemia. The BCR ABL uh, gene fusion can result in uh, multiple signal transduction and this affects the signaling pathways also. So it can ta target the tyrosine kinase activity, it activates the RAS pathway and it also activates the PI3K pathway. All these results in the uncontrolled cell division and the proliferation of white blood cells. Hope you are clear with the introduction to the Philadelphia chromosome and the BCR ABL gene fusion. If you like to know more details on this, please share your thoughts in the comment section. We will see you in the next video. Thank you. And if you like the video, please share it with your friends.